Mastering Double Possessives in English Hello, everyone. Welcome back to our channel, your trusted source for mastering the English language. Today, we're going to dive into a fascinating part of English grammar, double possessives. Often, we use possessives to show ownership or relationships. But sometimes, we double up on these possessives, creating what we call a double possessive. Don't worry if that sounds a bit confusing right now, we're going to break it down together, step by step. A double possessive, also known as a double genitive, is a phrase consisting of a noun, the preposition of, and a possessive noun or pronoun. Here's a simple example, a friend of mine. In this sentence, mine is a possessive pronoun, and a friend is the noun we're referring to. You might ask, why don't we just say, my friend? Both sentences are correct, but they have slightly different nuances. The double possessive form emphasizes the noun before, of. Now that we know what a double possessive is, let's see when to use it. You should use a double possessive when you want to emphasize the person or thing owned rather than the owner. Here's another example, the books of John's that you borrowed. This sentence emphasizes, the books, the things owned, rather than, John, the owner. Also, you use double possessives with indefinite pronouns, anyone, everyone, someone, etc. And when you use a superlative adjective or the words, all, both, and, half. Now it's time to put what we've learned into practice. Let's look at a few sentences. One. That's a great idea of yours. 2. This is an old photograph of my parents. 3. Everyone's ideas are important. In the first sentence, we're emphasizing the idea itself. In the second sentence, we're focusing on the photograph, not the parents. The third sentence is a bit different. It's using an indefinite pronoun, everyone's, which also calls for a double possessive. We hope this video helped clear up the sometimes confusing world of double possessives. It's a subtle but effective way to emphasize the right elements in your sentences. As always, practice is key to mastering any new aspect of language. So, try using double possessives in your conversations and writing, and you'll become more comfortable with them in no time. Thanks for joining us today. We look forward to helping you continue your journey towards mastering the English language. Happy learning, everyone!